as a Christmas tree. Hmm. Oh, a hat. Well, that can only mean one thing. It's the Christmas special of the rough cut, but all that's missing. What, what are you doing? We're getting a show on the road, aren't we? Well, we're doing the grids today, aren't we? I thought I'd dress up. No, no, we're, we're, do, we're doing love, actually. That's, we're, not do, we're not doing the Grinch. What? The gr gr Grinch would have probably been a be better choice, actually, but <laughs> we could do the love. <laughs> you tell me I got dressed up for nothing? Basically, yes, you got, you got dressed up for absolutely. Mother <laughs> So, Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> yes, Merry Scroogemas or whatever. Uh, Merry Grinchmas, maybe. Merry, Merry Grinchmas, yeah. I, I am struggling <laughs> to figure out how I feel about Louis as a Grinch. Uh, well, it was brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> he, sure, sure. I, I guess, I guess so. As soon as someone suggested this, everyone said, "Yes, we are absolutely doing this." Yeah, I, ev ev everyone on the production team absolutely loves this. So, let's say it's thank you, thank you to everyone for getting this. Sort yes, of, let's say uh, apart it's from Jamie, great, who's nodding right, his right. head, he hates this very much. So, and yeah, he, he's honestly, by me right I, now. I kind of feel that as well. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a very interesting sight. Let's yeah. just put it that way. So, uh, the, as the yeah. intro suggests, we're doing Love Actually. As the intro suggests, yes, yes, <laughs> yes in Grinch uh, makeup. For, yeah. Yes, yes, we're doing this because. Because it's just funny. Why not? It's just funny. Is Love Actually a Christmas film? Vote in the comments. Yes, it is. It's literally, it is literally all about Christmas. Is it? It takes place five five months before Christmas, and it is just all Christmassy. It takes place five months before Christmas. Five weeks before Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Real Christmas. Right? Real Christmas. Real Christmas. Yeah. So, so what, July, basically? No. <laughs> so the basic gist of love, actually, is that it's an anthology of love stories. OK. Like it's just, there is, a, is, um, it, is it actually? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is actually about oh, love. Oh, wow, wow, wow. And Amazing. there are eight, I think, or maybe nine stories in this motion picture. <laughs> Come on, you gotta take me seriously here. <laughs> no, I absolutely do not. Just continue. <laughs> yes, you do. Okay, and it has and it features a pretty much an all-star cast. You got Hugh Grant in it. You got uh, Colin Farrell. I think I'm saying that name right. <laughs> I'm, I think you mean Firth. Firth. It's Firth. Ah. Colin Farrell is someone else. I'm pretty damn sure. it. Damn, I've been saying his name wrong in my head the whole time. Congratulations. Great. Uh, Emily Thompson, Liam Neeson, oh. Alan Rickman, Bill oh, wow. Nye, oh. Martin Freeman. Etc. That the list goes on and on. That's a, that's a good cast. It is a say. very good cast because we can't really talk about the plots of like eight things and talk about the characters of eight stories. So we're pretty much just gonna play you a bunch of clips of every single story and then we'll just react to them. Yeah, let's let's figure that out then. Yes. So the first one we have is of Rick from The Walking Dead trying to seduce the wife of his best friend. Okay, <laughs> right. I wish I That's... was joking, but I'm not. Okay, lovely. <laughs> so here's, this is perhaps the most iconic scene of the entire film. Let's go. Oh, oh yes. Shh. The fact that he knew that he would ask Carol who that was. Singers. Carol Singers. <laughs> yes, bugger off. Take oh, your Christmas I... cheers elsewhere. I, 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 would I would tell them to fuck off, quite frankly. Yeah. If you want to read the subtitles, I can't read. With any luck, by next year, you won't have me fucking holding up one of these cards again. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to have well, to censor, that, have to censor one. that one. Did you not check this? I did not. <laughs> but for now, let me say, without hope or agen agenda. Agenda. Well, I've got an this agenda. This is my agenda right here. Just because it's Christmas. By the way, we are actually filming this on Christmas for yes, once. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> and at Christmas, you tell the truth. Ah! Always. Yeah, maybe not. You don't have to. To me, you... <laughs> okay, the wife say. of his best friend. Yes. 
He was the best man at his wedding. Is this, is this basically just what this film is about then? It's just a bunch of... A few stories are a little morally questionable. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Isn't she like very young in this or something? Wasn't there like that whole thing? Maybe. Yeah. Ah. Whoa, what the hell? So I, I wasn't paying attention then suddenly Apparently that Apparently he'll, he'll love her until he looks like that. Very cr right, that's, that's, that's a very sweet sentiment. Yeah, Mate, just, just, not really. Just send an email. Or Send just don't do that. Yeah, don't just 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 don't just, do just, that just, just because do that. it's wrong. It's very wrong. This in this in this economy, this is a waste of paper. <laughs> also, just turn off the boombox, mate. This is not needed. I know yeah. this is like two thousand three, but email was around. Yeah. Oh, what oh, do you want? What do you want? Well, she liked it pretty much. Get that she just get that filth off my screen. Ah. She just got married. Yes. She just got married. So this is incredibly questionable then. Oh yes. Okay. Very questionable. It's presented yeah. as romantic. Run, okay. Run back in. Run back in. Yeah. I mean, is is that that's that's like one of those like iconic scenes of cinema, yes, it is. isn't it? But it is also so so horrible at yeah. the same time. Is there is there is there any kind of like backstory behind any of that? No. Or? He just no. He just likes he just likes it. There's also a very creepy scene uh, earlier on in the film where he he was taking videos of their wedding and most of them he put together a compilation of just her face. Oh, that is really weird. And she finds out about it and is strangely turned on by it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that's that that is that's just like that's like, like you know in like uh, you know serial killers where they have like the person's face they're trying to go for Pretty just much. on a board. That's just like the video version of that. Basically. Pretty much his reaction to her seeing that was all. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> okay. The next relationship or story in here is that Alan Rickman cheats on his wife with his assistant. <laughs> You're still trying to do the voice. <laughs> I, I feel like it. it, it I, I just want to. It's, it's turning into Sean Connery a little bit. More or less. I don't. I don't know what how the Grinch really sounds. I'm an idiot. You're an idiot. I'm an idiot. Anyway, Alan Rickman gets seduced by his assistant, basically, as you can see by this. Roll the clip. The Christmas party, not my favorite night. I mean, of the to year. be fair, <laughs> not my favorite night. Isn't she? No, she isn't. I she don't looks know. Like, she looks like that one character of Pulp Fiction. Does she? Oh, well, it's the same hair, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Like, like, no children. No children. I will not have infants in my presence. I'm assuming just be hanging around the mistletoe, hoping to be kissed. By you yeah. specifically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just so by, you know, I, I, will, I will stand under a mistletoe with you there. Mm. Mm. Imagine if, imagine if you did like like a random mistletoe, like you just like roll the dice with someone and just like, that would be like really awkward really quickly. Yes, it would. Yes, yeah. that's basically I, the premise of this one film called The Kissing Booth. I'm going to pitch that show next year, by the way, guys. Please uh, don't. <laughs> please, please don't, because they'll get me on there yes. looking like this. <laughs> You're nodding your head. Yes, yes, yes. Oh fuck off. Oh, fuck off. You'll be the first person for it. You'll be the first. Yes, person I for will, it, because they love because you, these people at Crazy Cowboys love torturing me. Yes. That's why they stuck me in this shit. And we, <laughs> and we will continue to do so until you leave. Yeah, because I love it. Yeah. Damn it! Oh, not God. that scene again. <laughs> <laughs> just the same. I Let's do just a, play the same scenes. I do a better again. Alan Rickman impression than yes. the Prince impression. <laughs> yes, you really do. Alan, I told you to stop <laughs> gawking at your assistant. <laughs> it is unprofessional. Wow, what a great impression! <laughs> I'm having so many mixed feelings right now. Just, just seeing you in good face, and then all these, all these <laughs> attempts at voices. Yeah, yeah, attempts are not even that good, are they? <laughs> okay, so the next one is probably, I would say, is probably the most morally questionable one. Oh, we love morally questionable ones. Because the next, because it's about a guy named Colin, not Colin. Firth. Firth, yes, there you go. Uh, he has, he's having trouble having sex, to put it bluntly. Okay, how much of this are we going to be able to show? Well, well, I guess if he's having trouble, then yeah. Well, the bit I'm about to show you doesn't <laughs> doesn't contain any naughty bits. No, it doesn't contain, contain any naughty bits. Although there are a lot of naughty bits in this film. Oh, I'm going to put that on my watch list then. Actually. Yes, but yes, but so it, so instead of working on himself and seeing if he can maybe improve his life and become a better person and become more attractive, he goes to America and see if he can has better luck being himself over there. Well. James Corden tried it. <laughs> yeah, and you know what happened? What happened? He had a four-way, possibly a five-way. A five-way? Possibly. James Corden? No, not <laughs> him. <laughs> no, not James Corden. 
<laughs> James God. Corden? <laughs> Are you mad? Wow. I mean, wow. James James Corden, you 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 got to let me know where you're, where you're getting these people, man. Honestly. Oh yeah. This yes. is as soon as he gets off the plane. As soon as he gets off the plane, he, remember, he is going there with the sole intention of fucking someone. Yes. An attractive someone. I what the hell is? Basildon. This is where the, the same this is this fucking is, thing. This is where the writing sort of takes a dip. Yeah, no shit. Because it it delves into pure fantasy. Yeah. Male fantasy. Male fantasy on on on, on a big stage. But this how is, many women are gonna <laughs> fucking walk through the door? <laughs> just just just. Oh, there's five of them. There's five yeah. of them. Okay. No, well, no, the fifth. No, the fifth one. This, the fourth one comes in later. Oh, okay. So I'm not in this scene. No, not in this scene. Oh, okay. But, well. <laughs> Yeah, he, when you'll you'll, hear, right you'll hear about her. Oh, okay. He, somehow his British charm just works on these women. You're so funny. Where are you staying? I don't actually know. Where, he doesn't even have a place to stay. No. Oh my god, so cute. Oh my god. Yeah, that is, this is pure Further context, he did this completely on a whim. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, we've just seen his entire run. Yeah. Of just, of just, like, he's in the bar and then someone, like, as, as if, as if Americans just have, like, like Brit sensing abilities yeah. that they just know when a Brit walks into the yeah. room. Americans are dumb, pretty much. Uh, apologies to any uh, overseas viewers who may be watching this show. We do deeply apologize. Thank you. <laughs> They're basically saying they only have one bed. <laughs> oh fuck me! And they've invited him to sleep <laughs> with them. A bit it, I, I, a bit, a bit, a bit cramped. cramped. A bit cramped. I would love if at the end of this scene. No, no I think it'd be fine. <laughs> it'd be fine. It'd be fine. It'd be fine. It'd be fine. I, I so desperately want at the end of this scene for him to just wake up. It was all a dream, and uh, I won't finish that's, that sentence. That's some wishful thinking. Yeah. <laughs> The sexy one. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah, okay, mate. Take me on that plane to America. Yeah. I'm gonna try I wanna do an experiment myself. I sit alone at a bar, just drinking something. I just I just we'll, we'll test if these people yeah. have Brit Brit sensing. Yeah. Honestly. And this is no joke, absurd. No joke, it fucking worked. Well what the hell? <laughs> what why? It, why is that it worked, his plan went a hundred and literally went four hundred percent worked. Um okay, right, hang on. Right. I'll just wait for it. <laughs> yeah, love, love that shit a bit. Right, okay. Does anyone know? Does anyone does anyone know how much uh, tickets to the US are? I, I I just need to know for personal reasons. Okay, That's not over there. Thanks for ruining the magic, you, you, Jamie. You, you, we were doing a bit here. We were, do, we were, do, we're, we're doing a bit. We're doing a bit. Look at my face. Bit. Look at my face here. Do, do we're, I look happy? We're doing we're doing a bit. That's the whole of Colin's story. It's the like, unnecessarily he, luckiest man alive. I know, right? On it's Christmas like, Eve. I know. Yeah. Fuck him. Honestly, it's like yes, yes. That's what they are doing to him. <laughs> Yes, that is very true. Yeah, they are fucking him, so screw him in his face. Screw, yeah, screw him and his in his <laughs> ugly face. Whoa! <laughs> right, Louis, sorry, Louis, I'm I, I listen, sorry, I'm feeling fairly listen, bitter I, about I, I, this. I die. You're feeling really bitter. Yeah, you're just taking it out on this poor man. Honestly. Okay, so the next story is uh, can't get any better than that. <laughs> well, not really. Well, some are less fortunate than him because there's a character named Sarah who has a crush on her. Sarah. Oh wait, that's the reference no one's going to get. Anyway, go on. Anyway, there was a character named Sarah who has a crush on her co-worker and their story basically ends by uh, them about to have sex after a Christmas party but it gets interrupted by her, a hospital calling her to come and help with her mentally ill brother. Right, okay. So, so, this is the, so, so okay. and that's where I'm going to leave it because we're definitely not qualified to talk about stuff like this. Yeah, well, let's, let's see that clip then. There's no clip for that. Oh. What was the introduction for that one then? Uh, that was it. Oh, you were just saying that that's that was, it. that was it. That, that was it. Oh, that was it. I thought it's, that, I it's, thought it's too. It's too. It's too just sad to talk about. Oh, but we've got to we got to. Where is my cursor? Less, all right. Yeah. Less depressingly is Bill Nye's story, where he putting together a Christmas album and in the hopes of becoming the number one album that year. Yeah. Good luck. No one's being. And he has, carry. This one ends with him confessing his love to his producer. I think. Let's see it. Yep, let's see it. I don't know if this is copyrighted or not. <laughs> nah, no, no way. No way. No? And he's not well, getting I, number one? I know the old versions. This is the old version. Is he, is he a bit drunk coming in? No, he's doing his Davy Jones impression. Life is cruel. I feel it in my fingers. 
Yeah, that's my Colin, fingers. That's Colin Firth, this is this is 2003, right? Yes, so, it is. So Auto Tune must have been around by this point, right? Possibly. Oh fuck, wank bugger, shitting ass head. No, 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 no. Keep that. Keep that. That's that's, a, that's the best part of that song. I'd listen to that. <laughs> that is the best part I'd, of the lyrics. I'd listen to that song. I would I would sing that every single Christmas. Yeah, day. the one. Yeah, the one that goes fuck shit, bugger, cock and balls. <laughs> He's really trying. Oh, he really this one. trying for this one. So does he? So does he? Does he try like confessing his love during the song? No. no, he confesses it after he gets number one. It basically, we see him stumble his way into getting number yeah, one. Yeah, I was gonna say like, how, how like? Because he's like, because he he curses all the time. Where 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 is it getting number one in? Like Germany or like actually here in this country? Get, yeah, in this country, apparently. <laughs> to be fair, I mean, this country makes a lot of stupid decisions with. Uh, with many, many things. Mm. Number one albums for Christmas being one of them. Yep. <laughs> this is shit. <laughs> if that man managed <laughs> this, this is shit. This is shit. Solid yeah. gold shit, Maestro. Solid gold, solid gold shit. Solid gold shit, Maestro. Yeah, yeah, but solid gold shit is still shit. <laughs> this, a, this, this is yeah, what I've always not, learned. Yeah, look at that. He's not disagreeing. <laughs> he's like, yeah, he's like, okay, he's fair like, enough, mate. Fair enough. Like, yeah, That's like, what yeah, it is. So, yeah, so this is pure shit. This is pure shit. <laughs> My singing career is and basically over. We get, and somehow he gets to number one. So that's so that's another one. Very realistic. Yeah, here's another funny one. Is The next funny story is that the Prime Minister of <laughs> the United Kingdom, played by Hugh Grant, falls in love <laughs> with, I think, his mate. Oh my god, we're doing a Hancock. <laughs> I don't, yeah, the only difference is, is that I don't think the Prime Minister was married in, in um, this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Which okay. basically makes it alright. By the way, Hugh Grant as Prime Minister. <laughs> that is just, yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. No Prime Minister has ever had that good of genes, I don't think. Yeah. Prime Minister. Oh. Oh, 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 I'm feeling very hot right now. <laughs> oh, it's tough being Prime Minister for yeah. only three minutes. <laughs> it's been a pretty good long take so far. Yeah. Oh, is it, oh this is one the whole way through, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm always impressed with things. And that, that is the woman that he falls in love with. It. These two? No, that, no, 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 the, the old woman over there. The, on the right? Yeah. Okay, right. This this person that we're coming up to. No, no, not her. What do you think? What are you talking about? There's a girl before that. The girl. I, I mean, I'm I, 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 with you. I, I, okay, right. I don't, well, I don't know. There's been some pretty fucking weird scandals coming out of number ten recently. You know, yeah, more or less. It wouldn't surprise me. He could have gone with any of them, mm -hmm. and I w wouldn't have been surprised, quite frankly. I'll piss it. I'll piss it. I'll piss it. Right. Out. <laughs> Imagine. Um, no, he finds it charming. <laughs> Good. To, to be honest, I would find it charming. Yeah. Imagine if this. Imagine this was Boris Johnson. He looked Johnson right down at her cleavage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You, you honestly, you're, you're, you're you didn't making, see it, but, it, uh, no, but okay. I saw it. You're, you're, you're making Hugh Grant out to be a pervert. Well... <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. 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 He okay. really doesn't lose that Hugh Grant <laughs> charm, Confidence even when he's driving. Prime Minister. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> he realises he's made a grave mistake. Gosh, she was so pretty. What's my wife gonna think? <laughs> so he's not married at this no, point? No, he's not married. He, pr he, pr he probably might secretly be, you never yeah. know. Yeah, and the way this one ends is bloody hilarious. It ends with them two making out on the stage of a Christmas concert. Why would you want that? It's cute. In this, it, in this film, it is cute. Uh, have you seen it for yourself? Yes, I have. Okay. Is it cute? Look, look at this. Oh, you've got it. Yeah, got it right here. Right there. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> On centre stage. Centre stage. How got, could you not have seen that, man? The lights, How could the you lights not have seen are that? on them. Like, they're right centre of stage. <laughs> they're right centre of stage. So not quite as secret as we'd hoped. Oh, <laughs> oh. Oh dear. Well, pff, I'm getting a divorce. <laughs> Oops. You know someone's sending that into the sun the next day. Oh yeah. 100%. No, in this world, it's cute. It's just, it's all very sweet. Do you know who, do you know who we need for this scene? Yeah. Malcolm Tucker from the thick of it. Just, mm -hmm. just, just shouting all the bollocks and wanker at, at them right now for doing that. <laughs> Get the fuck off the stage! <laughs> How the fuck could you have done that? You're fucking stupid! Fuck's sake! Jesus! Right! The next one is actually quite sweet. It's where C Colin F I keep forgetting his name. Colin Fye. <laughs> What's his actual name? Firth. Firth, yes. Firth. Colin, okay, like, Colin, like you're, it's like you're saying first, but with a lisp. Okay, Colin Firth. <laughs> <laughs> Get on with it. <laughs> Get on with it, man. <laughs> Colin, Colin, last name. Yes, he's, a, he's an author who gets che cheated on by his love of his life, and so he goes to a lake house, and he falls in love with the caretaker of that lake house. How Christmassy. Yeah, and she doesn't speak a lick of English. <laughs> 
Nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So what does he does he just like make up words or something? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's actually quite sweet. What they do is that they they're basically speaking the same thing, just in different languages. So they're basically on the same wavelength. Okay. So that's uh, convenient. Yeah. So, but this one ends with um, him going to her home country and going to her place of work to ask her to marry him. <laughs> These stories feel like they're moving quite quickly. Yes. I, I know you're summing them up, but it feels like they're all yes, moving really Yes, and quickly. the beginning of this film takes place five weeks before Christmas. Oh, not five months? No, not five months. Oh, not five months. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, all right, that's a problem. Yeah, so asking someone to marry you within five weeks is a bit... Is, is, is questionable at best. Questionable at best. But it is quite sweet what happens. I mean, un un unless you feel that strongly. Literally right here, and he brought an audience with him. I've forgotten, I've forgotten the name already. Colin Farrell, Colin Farrell, Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell. I have come here. The thing that makes this more sweet is that he, they both learned each other's languages. It's okay. Es el loco. Es el crazy how you she's say. Just, she's just like, oh, this is really awkward. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, imagine how awkward it is. If this happened be. in real life, it'd be, it wouldn't be this sweet. Mm. All you need to do is just get down on the knee and just, just, just present the ring. Just leave out the middle, man. You don't, yep. need, you don't need this speech. <laughs> Go for England, girl. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, after, after the World Cup recently, I, I, yeah. I don't think going for England is, is a good idea, mate. I don't expect you to be as fucking crazy as me. And of course, I prediction you say no, yes, like a same person. So why are you doing this? <laughs> uh, you know, you, you'd say, you'd say, not yet. Or you'd be a normal person and just say, do you want to go on a date with me? Yes. <laughs> Have they not been dating already? Well, they, not exactly. Jesus Christ, okay. <laughs> Was it? Was oh, this? yeah, it's, 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 it's just, that's just out of love in Spanish, you know? I'm guessing this Thank is Spanish. Yes. 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 Just be my answer. Be my answer. Even that is still very awkward. <laughs> And then he wakes up and it's all a dream. Yeah. I feel like all of these should just be that they, that they wake up and it's all a dream. Yeah, because they're about as realistic as a fucking dream. Yes. And this sold how well at the box office? It made two, 200 million on a smaller budget. Uh, how, how small was this budget? Like in, the, like in the 10 million figures. People love a love story. That's, yes, they that, do. That, they, that's, love, that's they, sure. they love a good love story, even though these aren't good love stories. No. I, you know what I love? I love a realistic love story. You yeah, know? same. You need a bit of the trials and tribulations, and then you get to the end, and it's just, they're still bickering at the end anyway. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, ju let's just very, kiss everyone for good luck. Very wholesome, yeah, yeah. exactly. Kiss, kiss everyone. Oh, yeah, oh, we are kissing everyone. Oh, lovely. Okay, lovely, yeah, yeah. Uh, Colin, Colin's a handsome devil. <laughs> Come here, Louis. Uh, that's, no, that's you, no, okay, no, okay, no, you're, okay, even no, with this, no. even with this on, you're no, not doing no, that. No, 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 not happening. Not happening. <laughs> so that was, <laughs> that was, so that was that. Yeah. What's the, what's the last one? Um, oh yeah, the next one, the next one is um, Bilbo Baggins from The Hobbits, <laughs> aka yes. Martin Freeman. He has a job that I I think you and I could relate to quite well. And that, that he is the lighting stand-in for a porno. Re relate to? Yeah, you, you know, we're lighting, we're lighting stand-ins. For pornos? Well, not exactly. How did you know, Louis? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, he meets a woman and who is also doing <laughs> the lighting stand-in for a for, porno. For porno. Are, they, are, they, are they like... Completely like yes, they are completely. Okay. They are completely. So how have you edited around this? I haven't put any in here. Oh, okay. So you're just telling me this for. Are you gonna go? Are you gonna do this in post? And it's just like all just a massive blur. Yeah, pretty okay. much. Yeah, right, lovely. <laughs> right. But it, Merry but Christmas, but that, everybody. But I'll say that I'll say that one is quite genius because it is such a weird ass job, and they are <clears throat> throughout every scene that they're in, they're having very mundane questions like saying that the traffic was murder and right. And the, it is actually it is actually quite sweet when you watch it. And sure, just, sure, but are you saying it's genius because they are fully naked? No, it's... Um, I, I, feel, I, feel, I, feel, I, feel like the, I feel like the men's eye is maybe making you think that a little no, bit. No, I'm saying it's comedic genius. Comedic... Sure, mate, sure, sure, okay. Anyway, yes, I can't for the life of me show you anything don't, about, yeah, about, what, about them. So I will just move on to the last one, which is the guy from Taken. His one's wholesome, his wife dies, so... Oh, what a wholesome, <laughs> what a wholesome story. Yes, Merry Christmas. <laughs> so, and he's left with... Uh, his stepson to take care of. Okay. And he's also sad, not because his mum died, but because N, his classmates won't, won't notice him and fall in love with him. Right, okay. It could go like that with this film at this point, honestly. 
<laughs> Nikki. Yeah, you're trying. Nikki. <laughs> just, Nikki. just, Nikki. just, just, just. Go like that. Yeah. No. So, yeah. Because the kid, because they're kids. Yeah, Jamie. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I believe we are cutting this entire thing yeah, out. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. For no. your reputation mainly. Yeah. Uh, that one is quite wholesome as well. They have some very cute scenes, like uh, this one, for example. Who's the picture? The person. The the mum. He's still miserable about her. I don't know where you are. <laughs> but I will find you. <laughs> I've lost you, but I will find you, and I will kiss you. <laughs> oh, it's an actual kid. I it thought it was a teenager. No. I regret my decision. Yeah, you probably yes. regret your decision, don't you? This is, of course, you Thomas Brady know. Sangster, who's uh, Ferb in Phineas and Ferb. Really? Yeah, he's Ferb. Wait, really? Well, I mean, most people wouldn't know because he barely him. says anything. I, I knew I knew him as the guy from Game of Thrones and Maze Runners. So for and the few well, lines he actually has, Ferb yeah. is... Um, yeah, voiced by that kid. Voice, voice, voice. So yeah, they talk about the oh, problems, wow, and, so, and so they watch uh, Titanic. He's got the money to, to just have this clip in the film. I know, right? <laughs> no. No, yeah. No. Oh. Aww. Oh. That's very nice. My cold, frozen heart is melting. Just that clip, I think. I was gonna actually, yeah. Well, that's a yeah. I hope would, I would. I would yeah. I was gonna say yeah. yeah I, would, I would hope he's not showing the whole thing. All right, kids, you're gonna have to learn as well. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna have to learn that life will just be a bitch. If life gives you a car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shut up and drive. <laughs> have you actually seen this film? So I, 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 I've, obviously I have seen bits of it. I obviously know the thing about the you know the, the there's all the, there's always that bit of trivia with the uh, with what's her face wearing the hat. In the in the in the thing, what's her name? The one the one with the cards. I don't know her name, but I know what you're but talking about. But you know, about. The, yeah, she she there, there, there was one scene because I believe like you know she was so I think she's 17 in that in that in that film, and she's yeah questionable, and she's and she uh, had like had like a big uh, spot on her forehead, and so she had and so someone just brought in this massive hat to cover it up, and that just became a part of the because makeup couldn't do <laughs> enough with it, huh. and that just became a part of of, of her image basically. Huh. Well, that's uh, certainly very interesting. Yeah, it, it, that's probably the most interesting part of it. The other part of it is this grown man yeah. trying to date the, his best friend's wife. Yeah, 2003. It was a different time, you know. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. they present this as wholesome yeah. for some reason. Which is always nice. Anyway, that yeah, that was probably my least favorite story in this film. Yeah. My favourite probably is Colin Firth. Colin uh, Firth. Colin Firth's one. Yeah, I think, I think out of all of them, Colin Firth is probably the more reasonable one, yeah. I'd say. Yeah, the close last is probably uh, Colin's one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. because, let, let me, let's give the some... fantasy thing, yeah. yeah. it's pure male fantasy. Pure male fantasy. It is, it That's will like, never happen. That is basically the start of a porn. Americans are, exactly. Not that I would know. Americans are dumb, but they are not that dumb. Yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, let's let's scores on the doors. Yeah, Christmas. scores on the door. For this for this Christmas film, well, it's a Christmas film. Zero out of ten. <laughs> wow. I mean, like, okay, you know, I, maybe I'm a bit more of a softy. Uh, although I well, actually no, I'm not. Uh, these these these, <laughs> the, these, uh, these these stories. All of these they stories. Are you, all of these stories you show me, they, they are they are questionable, unrealistic. Some are nice. Yes. And I'm very sorry if we have basically spoiled love actually for you. Yeah. Uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I you know I I like I I think I think the iconicness of it draw, draws something to it. So I'm going to give it a very modest. 6.1 out of 10. <laughs> I like my points now. Yeah, uh, my real score is basically uh, 2.5 out of 10. Really, that much? Yeah, it, the acting is good across the board. Of course. I mean, these are all, these are ev all literally pink. every actor is top notch. Uh, they capture the spirit of Christmas, which is, you know, love. Love. Yes, that is the real spirit, isn't it? But, but most of the stories are either dull, stupid, or completely <laughs> morally bankrupt. <laughs> So <laughs> it's a completely middle of the road kind of film. And this is why you are the Grinch. Yes, it is. <laughs> well, uh, thanks uh, very much for watching this. Uh, this, is, this has been very interesting. Yes, it has been. And, and quite surreal, if I'm being yep. honest. Uh, we'll be back in the new year with some more episodes, not wearing all of this, so you'll have yes, some- Yes, because uh, this is very hot right yes, now. Yes, <laughs> you'll have some more episodes to look forward to. Uh, enjoy your Christmas. Hello. Mm. Enjoy your Christmas. Mm. Um, enjoy your New Year's as well. I feel like I'm playing cat and ball now. Uh, enjoy your New Year's and just enjoy every other part of the holidays. Rest well, because who knows what 2023 has in store. So, yeah. Yeah. See you around. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.
okay. There we go. Henry. That's a wrap. That's, That's a, wrap. a wrap. That is a wrap. All right.